Afrofuturism. There's a history that's not told and that new generations actually need to know. The way that we look at Afrofuturism and this exhibition, One Day You'll See, is not just through really cool black robots or really awesome costumes, but examining the why behind Afrofuturism. So why is it that we want to escape to other planets? Why is it that we create ourselves as cyborgs? Or why are we creating these imaginary spaces that exist inside the decolonized black imagination? One of the things that I love about Afrofuturism is that it comes out of observation. So a guy like W.E.B. Du Bois, he was funded by the Tuskegee Institute in 1899 to look at the economic conditions of black people one and two generations after the Emancipation Proclamation. And from the research that he did, he developed his idea of the double consciousness, his first science fiction stories in 1915. That to me kind of becomes the template for the next 100 years. Some of my favorite pieces in this show are these illustrations by the jazz musician and genius Youssef Latif. These are Latif's imagining of a speculative space. Let's see where else we can go. Sure. So you want to talk about your work? As you can see, this was the Keystone uh, drawing after a day of collaborating with Keith Haring in the subway. And he memorialized it, 4 meets KH, September 24th, 1984. What we did is we actually took the stories of some of the most prominent artists, comic book artists, sculptors, from the beginning, up till now and celebrated them all in one room. The show chronicles 100 years of black speculative fiction, fantasy, and science fiction and superheroes. I think the reason for me why the show is relevant now is because we're in a time where there is a lot of social and political divide. The importance of this show and why we need to have this conversation now is because we still need inspiration that speaks to a forward-thinking future context while examining our current political climate. I believe Afrofuturism speaks directly to that and I believe it always has. Mm -hmm.